Hey guys, welcome back to A Daily Dose of Love with Tasha. I'm your host, Tasha Bradley. Thank you all for tuning in each and every Wednesday. And guess what? Today is December the 27th. It is the last show of 2023. Yes, we made it, guys. We made it. I've been consistent this entire year. My confidence is through the roof. Oh, I have built my confidence to the utmost this year of 2023. What's up to our international listeners? Thank you all for pushing play for this entire year. You are appreciated for my big, beautiful heart. And if today is the first time you've heard my voice, take your time to go through the content. You made a great decision in choosing to push play on a daily dose of love with Tasha. I'm encouraging self-love through self-care. So uh, welcome aboard. Yes, it is the last show, guys, of 2023. I'm super excited. It's December 27th. We have five days and we will be saying Happy New Year. It is uh, January 2024. That's what we'll be saying the next time you all hear my voice. It'll be January 2024. So we're going to enjoy today. We have five more days left in uh, the year of 2023. We're just going to jump right into it. What's in your cup? I have champagne because this is a celebration. We've made it. We've made it. We've made it. And uh, hopefully we'll make it for the next five days. And you all will hear my voice in 2024. And I'll have you all listening from around the world. And uh, just uh, spreading the word about a daily dose of love with Tasha. Yes, yes, yes. So what's in your cup? I have champagne because this is a celebration. I'm all excited getting tight on, guys. Anyway, whatever's in your cup, let's uh, celebrate to having an amazing new year ahead of us. And uh, for all the things that we did accomplish here in 2023. Okay, salute on three. One, two, three. Cheers. I had to pop the bubbly today. Yes, I did, because I am so excited that I completed another year of podcasting and um, I'm doing really well just all across the board in my life with things that are happening. I'm super excited for what's to come. And uh, oh, let me get one more sip and then we'll get started with the show. I'm just moving along. Hold on, guys. All right. I hope whatever's in your cup, it's uh, good for you and good to you guys. Well, what a year it's been. I've sat back and I've kind of reflected on 2023. You know, they say sometimes you don't have to uh, look back because you're moving forward, but you have to look back so you'll know, you know, what you can do more of, less of, and uh, things that you just um, no longer want in your life and things that you're going to implement putting more into your life. As long as you're loving yourself and making um, it a conscious decision to love yourself a little bit more each and every day, you're doing well. So I'm proud of you for all the changes you've made and for all the changes that's to come. You know, this year online, my content, I've been monetized. So I got direct deposits from Facebook each month. On the 20th or the 21st, I get two direct deposits from Facebook for creating content. So I'm super excited and proud of that. I'm also monetized on uh, Instagram, getting a couple of dollars over there as well. So that's been a really big booster to my confidence to make me want to create more amazing content for you all. If you aren't following me on Facebook, I'm Tasha Boss Queen Bradley, Instagram, Twitter. Tasha with love. Look, I got to get my handles right, my name right. I'm back on LinkedIn. And I'm also in 2024, I'm going to be doing um, cameo videos where you can pay me to send a video to someone you love of encouragement when it comes to self love and just making themselves a priority. So I'm super excited about getting that started next year. I was working on that over Christmas holiday. I also have to work on getting my episode numbers right for this podcast. I was at 190, 170, so I'm all over the place. So if you've been confused at what episode is what episode, trust me, I'm going to work it out. Thank you for being patient with me. I I just was all over the place, and I don't know how I lost count, but I have. And um, it's going to be a big deal to make it to my 200th episode, so I'm going to straighten that out before the new year. We'll be up to date on what episode is what episode. So thank you all for, as I've said, to uh, 
listen to this podcast as you all have and spreading the word and all the things that you guys, you know, write to me and telling me. And, uh, you know, I've moved over to Delaware, so I'm getting ready to uh, start my life here. I'm looking forward to uh, stuff that I could tell you all about this place and the round, uh, surrounding states. I can't wait to get out and get started of living my life here and uh, going home to Florida. So I'm going to have a lot to share with you all. Yeah, I'm going to have so much more to share. You know me, I'm transparent. I share everything with you all in hopes of inspiring someone. And I like that you all are always uh, reaching out and giving me mad love too. Um, I want you all to tell me what you want to see more of, of less of. And... Um, 2024. So email me. I have my email address right today, guys. It's BradleyTasha6 at gmail.com. I knew some of you all knew that and probably was screaming on the other end when I was getting it all wrong. But anyway, email me at Bradley, B-R-A-D-L-E-Y, Tasha, T-A-T-I-A, number six at gmail.com. No spaces. Um, all lowercase. So BradleyTasha6 at gmail.com for whatever it is that you'd like to see a little bit more of or a little less of. And if you'd like to come on the show this year, I started uh, the takeoff where I had, I mean the takeover, look at me, Lord Jesus. Anyway, in 2023, I started the takeover where we had guest hosts come on and uh, host the show. So I'd like to give mad love to everyone that was a host of the uh, takeover. And also this year we did jam of the week. So I'm going to be changing up the format, you know, prior I would do motivational, inspirational, uh, quotes at the end of the show. So we're going into next year. It's going to be season. I'm going into three years of podcasting next year and it'll be our third season. So I'm excited about that. We're currently right now. This is my second year of podcasting and we're into our third year of podcasting. Wait a minute. I'm currently in. Oh, wow. Look at that. Yeah, my second year of podcasting in season three. So I'm going to season four and my third year. Yeah, that's how it goes. Anyway, I'll straighten it out for you next year if that's wrong. But anyway, I'm just super excited about changing up the format a little bit. I really, really want to get into more interviewing folks and uh, learn to just be quiet and listen and not interrupt. So hopefully you'll see more of that. I'm going to add a video. Also, while I'll go on YouTube and maybe I'll go live on uh, Instagram and Facebook, you know, here and there. I'm just going to mix it up and try and bring you guys more visual with the uh, audio. I know you all love audio podcasts, but uh, visual is taking over. I'm back on LinkedIn. So if you would like to connect with me there, I've also worked on that. So I'm just getting everything up to par so that I'll have an amazing uh, year online in 2024. It's been a long time coming. I know I deserve the whole pie and I'm working my ass off for it. I work hard to create content and it feels good to uh, get a few few pennies, getting a few pennies. So I'm hoping to add a couple of zeros and zeros to that and uh, just uh, create more and uh, get paid more. So I'm looking for sponsorships next year and um, all that good stuff. So like I said, I'll be on Cameo. You can spread the word about that. Or if you're on Cameo, find me on Cameo and follow me there. Also, go to my uh, YouTube with Love Tasha. I'll be doing more uploads there. And uh, if you'd like, I have my Daily Dose of Love with Tasha Facebook group. It's uh, open to the public. And I do a lot of uh, self-love encouragement there. Relationship. It's just a really fun group and a lot of inspiration daily. So go over there and... uh, Come on in and uh, have a great time over on A Daily Dose of Love with Tasha on Facebook, our um, public group. It's a great community. And if you'd like it, like I said, I'm on Facebook at Tasha Boss Queen Bradley. I'm on Instagram. I'm on Twitter, now known as X. I'm on TikTok, you know, I'm just all over social media, but I thank you all for enjoying this podcast, encouraging me, and I plan on bringing you guys more amazing content, more encouragement, more uh, stories that I'll share with you all, and uh, just having a great time. I want you all to just remember that loving yourself is, should be your number one priority, okay? It says, love your damn self 
first. You have to love you first or you could love no one else. If you're not giving yourself 100% of you, how could you give 100% to someone else? You have to love you in order to love someone else. And if you aren't loving you, that's why you're accepting love on so many different levels. You're hurting, you're miserable, you're in pain. You have to be true to yourself. My mom would always say to thine own, to thine own self be true. Dying. To thine own self be true. Yes, you have to be true to yourself. And you can't be true to anyone. I'm going to always be true to me. I'll always be true to you all. And I want you all to do the same thing. Always encourage someone to feel the best about themselves and stop being offended and uh, getting weird vibes when someone feels good about themselves. If you're intimidated by someone loving themselves and that gets on your nerves and you think that, oh, this person is showing off or they're bragging about themselves, you're supposed to. That's how you're supposed to feel about yourself. You should never feel irritated because someone else is boasting and bragging and loving themselves. You don't have to wait for someone else to toot your own horn. Toot your own damn horn. That's your responsibility. And if someone else does, good. And if they don't, you don't need that validation because you do that for yourself. Okay? So make sure that you are, you know, feeling good about yourself. Put your chest out with a big chest, okay? The big you, not the little you. 2024, become the big you, baby. The little you, stop playing little. Stop playing small. It's big us. It's big up. Big or nothing. We don't do small over here. We're doing big love for ourselves, mad love for ourselves. Self-love is where it's at. Without self-love, you aren't loving anyone. You understand what I'm saying? So more self-love, more self-love, more self-love. I'm going to have some products coming up next year on Shopify. I'm not going to disclose anything right now, but uh, I have two new things dropping next year. And I'm also bringing back my self-care center candles. I had to put it on hold because, you know, with being able to... uh, Continue with the podcast. I was getting ready to relocate. It was just a lot going on and I just wasn't able to, you know, commit to mailing them off as I was doing because I'm a one man army. And I thank everyone who purchased self care essential candles. You guys gave me an amazing year of selling, selling, selling. I'm definitely bringing self care essential candles back in 2024. So I look forward to everyone who purchased to purchase them again. And, uh, you know, we're going to be a bigger company and I have two other things that I'm working on that I'm dropping next year that'll be on Shopify so look look for that I'll let you all know and um, I'm going to be doing a lot of giveaways Um, I'm just going to make it a really fun 2024 so I've been working on a lot so that the podcast won't you know stay the same like I said the first year I just pretty much just said you know I gave you all my show and that was that. The second year I closed out with motivational, inspirational quotes. This year it was all about jam of the week. And um, next year I'm going to flip it around again, you know, and uh, do the format. I just don't want it to sound the same. Maybe the same message, you know, delivered in a different way, different format. But at the end of the day, I want you all to look forward to what I have to say at the end of the show as much as what I'm saying throughout the show. So I'm always trying to switch it up and give you guys something different. Maybe I'll combine it. You know, a couple of shows I'll end with a motivational and a jam of the week and with the new stuff that I'm implementing. Or, you know, we'll just mix it all up. But I always want you all to look forward to uh, hearing me close out as far as you do open it with what's in your cup. I'm going to take another ship of this sip. (laughs) Ship. Another. I'm I'm thinking about shipping out products, baby. But I'm going to take another sip of the uh, bubbly. Hold on. Maybe I need to slow down. Y'all know how I go. One second. Yes. We're celebrating. Again, I can't thank you all enough for hanging in there with me and uh, pushing play on this uh, podcast, for making me a top podcast, a number one, a number two, a number three, a number four, a number five, hell, even the top ten. I just thank you all for giving me ear time. You appreciate it. Oh, next year I'm also going to drop a new logo. So for our anniversary in February, yes, we're going to drop a new logo finally. I'm going to give a facelift to our... um, to our uh, podcast logo so I'm gonna clean it up and you know give you all a better picture I love this one but enough is enough so at our anniversary 
I should uh, upgrade that. So um, look forward to that as well. And also, I'd just like to give mad, mad love to all the Capricorns, baby. It's Capricorn seasons. We are the real GOAT, greatest of all times. Yes, Capricorns, mad love for all my Capricorns out there. I wish everyone a happy birthday now. You all know it's our season. We have to be the best because we start, I mean, we start the year off and end the year, end the year and start the year. That's how Capricorns do it. We're, our season is from December the 22nd to January the 19th. So if you have a birthday between December 22nd, happy belated for those up until now. And uh, through January 19th, I just wish all of us Capricorns a happy birthday, guys. Yes. I'm a full-blooded Capricorn. That's why we're so amazing. So to all the Capricorns out there, it's our season, baby. It's our season. So show out. Show out. I know we're online just taking over because we're the original goats. Anywho, I'd like to thank you all again. I also have, oh, Jam of the Week. Now, this song is kind of old, but I just got hooked on it, and I want to turn you all on to it in case you haven't heard of it. This artist is Friday. It's a guy. He has a Friday with two Y's. Okay, so if you're looking this up, it's Friday, just like the day of the week, but it has uh, two Y's. Okay, and this song is When It Comes to You. Oh, my Lord. I am so in love with this song. It was released uh, July the 21st, 2023. So if you're not up on Friday, when it comes to you, go to your music source, your music app, Put Friday on and put it on repeat, baby, because this is, I really can't um, think of any of the words right now. I just drew a blank. But anyway, go to your music source, play Friday when it comes to you. Think of me and uh, think of all the amazing things that you're going to do in 2024. Remember, it's okay to look back on everything that you've accomplished and uh, don't worry about the things that you didn't get around to. You could don't take that into 2024. Just get started. You know, whatever it is you want to do, if you're working on your body, if you're working on uh, just uh, new, new invent, new endeavors, big dreaming bigger, just whatever it is you want to do, you can do it. If you didn't accomplish it this year, don't worry about it. We got another 365 days coming up in 2024. Okay. And for all of us who've lost loved ones this year, who aren't going into the new year with us, I give my love to you all. I uh, keep you all in my prayers in my heart. You know, life is hard and that's what it is. That's why you have to appreciate every day because you never know tomorrow isn't promised. Okay. So anyway, happy new year to everyone. You guys uh, be safe. No drinking and driving wherever you are. Just make sure you're surrounded by love, show love to others and uh, keep me in your prayers as I'll keep you in my prayers. I love you all. More importantly, love your damn self first. One love.